<laughs> oh good, oh good. We've only just started. Good morning, good morning. <laughs> good morning. We Liz. just had to close some doors before we started. <laughs> Just in case a stray child comes through the door and says, <laughs> Mum, I want some cereal because it's yeah. um, pretty early this morning, right? So yeah. yeah, yeah. So good morning. It's Wednesday Wisdom. Um, this is the beautiful Lucia. We're, we're already laughing and giggling before we started. <laughs> good morning, so, Liz. It's lovely to be here. Gorgeous. Yeah. I know. And this is, I think this isn't the first Wednesday Wisdom we've done together. <laughs> Oh yes. my gosh, everything's yeah. falling. We're just talking about animals and my cats so when she takes the, the boxes that we're sitting in my office. My, my office. Yeah, we're just so talking it is, about dogs and cats. It is my first uh, Wednesday Wisdom. Yeah, so. Ah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I, I've I, done um, I've done an interview previous, but it wasn't uh, Wednesday Wisdom. It was um, just interviews, I think, at the time, or it could have been during the um, uh, the program. I did a um, a review for you, maybe, possibly. Yeah, um, yeah. So you know, it, it's one of those things. We we love to chat, though. You and I, Liz. We do, so. and I, I'm just <laughs> thinking of about. Um, you know, the sabotage beliefs and how far away I've gone from being perfect now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Here we are on live and we've got, got cats falling over things. Yeah, <laughs> stuff's happening Children. everywhere. The dog's pitter-pattering with her stick, yeah. So, yeah, um, yeah it, it is interesting. You know, like I remember when I first began your program um, and you'll have to tell me the name of it again. because Conscious it's Creator Mastermind, yeah, creator. yeah. Two years, I think, since I did it. Yeah. Um, you know, I've, I went through for 12 months, but then, you know, just um, got too busy in my business. And um, creating yourself, right? Uh, creating, yeah, this, this that you see now. Um, <laughs> it's quite amazing, you know, just the journey that you take when you have a, a coach and a mentor that yeah. um, supports you with those limiting beliefs, you know, with those beliefs, sabotaging beliefs, as you said. Mm -hmm. um, I think. As a coach, you learn from your student, but your student learns from you. So you, you both win in the in yeah. the actual, um, the, um, the dynamics, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. the dynamics of it. So in the actual sessions that you have together, um, it's win win, you know. And and that's what I found with conscious creators. It was just an amazing transition for me. You know, my limiting belief around money, my belief around the person that I am, you know, um, it, it just shifted so much uh, and, and got me to my desired outcome. Like I, yeah. I am now living, you know, my ideal, my ideal life. You know, I've got the balance. I've got lifestyle as well as business. I'm not hustling anymore. There's no hustle. You yeah. Know, getting because up you actually hustle. transitioned. Yeah, because you were doing a whole different um, I was yes. business before you conscious yeah. creator and yeah. then through conscious creator like just transformed the whole thing and and yeah. it all just went into alignment right it sure did yeah I was working as a um as a stylist so personal stylist and um a lot of the a lot of the traits from personal styling you know like um accepting who you are you know a lot of the personal development aspect of styling I've bought into this business, but this this is uh, I'm a business strategist now, so I help people grow and scale their businesses because I've been in business myself for the past 25 years, and I know a few things about business, you know. So um, it was quite interesting that I was not working in that field. I was working. Yeah, in yeah, business. yeah. I'd been in footwear. I'd been in sales. I'd been in clothing. I'd been in banking done all of the the business related skills and was never actually teaching my wisdom so mm. a conscious creator actually gave me the the insight into that um and once i hit the is, ground yeah yeah well, it's, it's, it's very interesting because i was just talking to someone about true choices and how long it sometimes it you know a lot of people don't realize that they're not creating from a true choice that they're, they're creating from lack. lack yeah yeah exactly and, and I think that's probably was my biggest uh you know the 
people around me wanted the best for me and they were giving me the choices. I wasn't making the choice. And once I made that true choice for myself, um, bang, everything, as you know, we, we yep. touch base, you know, sporadically now. Often, you know. Like once, yeah, once it was once a week, but yeah. now it's, you know, once every couple of months. So yeah. um, the difference has been exponential. Like I've got a, a program that I run called Get Clients Confidently now. It's a four-month program. Last, last session we had five students in the program. Uh, they have now gone on and become mem members so that we've got a membership program as well now that um, the people that do my GCC program then flow into my membership program and I can continue to coach them um, on a monthly basis. So I don't actually do four months and then leave them. I, yeah. I keep them, you know, keep helping them. And um, what I found was that in that, in that process, this, this, this go around, we've got two. So all up, I think we've got about, we've had about 18 since we've started this, this program with business strategies, growth strategies, you know? So um, yeah, conscious creator was, helped me get to that desired outcome of of having this this life in that structure yeah yeah, yeah. the yeah. lifestyle the the um coaching business that is truly just just me you know what i i i'm passionate about and that is helping every female entrepreneur get their business online and and scale it to the next level because mm -hmm. a lot of a lot of entrepreneurs female entrepreneurs uh they they juggle the uh mum you know mum life and yeah. all the other responsibilities they have but you don't need to hustle to get to get to that you know you, yeah you, to be successful you don't need to hustle and I, yeah. I believe it's a it's a myth that people think that they have to hustle to get to that to that well thing. yeah and it's, it's really interesting that you've brought in conscious creator in into that mix in the conversation because when you think about what you were doing prior because it wasn't in alignment with your own true choice you were having to hustle and it That's wasn't right. quite working right it didn't That's feel right. right and you and and then you go into those limiting beliefs of you know it's me there's something wrong with me blah, blah 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 yeah yeah but when you find that true choice and you move into alignment with what you're supposed to be doing Obviously, it they started a flow, and so now you can share that with yeah. with your clients, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And yeah. so, tell us, tell us a little bit um, uh, about the pillars in business, yeah. Because okay. that's one of the things that you're doing. That's what, yeah. So, yeah. business is about relationships, right? Uh, and I teach in my program that business is about relationships first. Then it's about marketing your business and then it's about the sales. You know, a lot of people come online and they start with the sales first and it's not about the sales. You've mm. got to grow and build those relationships. Now, during the time that I've been doing this program, I've also seen that as clients come to me with their pain or their problem, um, I've seen um, their beliefs and their, their emotions of how they're feeling um, in, in relation to where they're at in their business journey. Mm. Does that make sense? Yeah, so, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Especially because so, it's so in alignment, right? Yeah, yes, with what yeah. I do. Yeah. Yeah. So now what I do is I help them to create their own pillars. So I've got my pillars. My pillars are unseen. So when people come to me, they're not visible. They're, they're completely invisible. You know, they believe they've got a Facebook profile. At, Facebook's my platform, of course. Yeah. So they believe they've got a profile and that's going to help them get seen. But, you know, in actual fact, it's not. So mm -hmm. my, my, my pillars are unseen to unstoppable. And in that journey... Oh, I love that. Yeah. So in that journey, Liz, I've got different um, pillars. So when they're at that unseen level they're they're basically invisible they're yeah. they're lack you know coming from a state of lack so yeah. they can't see the opportunities or the wisdom that they own or they yeah. have you know intrinsically um within themselves you know and and sometimes that takes a lot of 
getting out, you know, to the to the next pillar. So um, a lot of times those people that are unseen, they're the ones that are in the group, you know, our big um, groups. We're membership creating group. them, we're nurturing them, we're helping them along, you know, to get to the next level. The next level is that engaged level. So it's it's about they're engaging, but they're also still lack, lacking. A little bit mm. when I started, you know, conscious in Conscious Creator, mm. I was engaging, I was turning up, but then I'd disappear, you know, so I'd, I'd turn up, I'd, I'd, I'd shrink, you know, I'd disappear again. So I'd, mm. I'd come and I'd go, you know, so there was no consistency in my engagement. So I was engaged, definitely, but I wasn't actually consistent. So I wasn't being there for the people that maybe wanted change in their lives. Mm. Can I can I just um, share something with you? Because like before you move on to the next pillar, because it's funny, I was thinking about this last night. Um, um, I, I had my meetup on last night. Yeah. And... Um, the lady that I had as a guest speaker had had messaged me and said, um, you know, is it is it okay if I share my re, you know retreat coming up and mm -hmm. my you know what I offer? And yep. I thought it was a strange question because I and I went, yeah, sure, you know, like yeah. that's what that's what I've got you here for, is to promote right? you, yeah, yeah, is is to promote you. And I was thinking about it later and. Um, just when you were just talking about the unseen and the lack, um, one of the things that I find with business, you know, people coming into business it's is good. they go into this space of, oh, now I'm online and somehow something magic's going to happen <laughs> and, and all of a sudden, like, because I'm putting an offer there, people are going to say yes to it, which mm. is not the case. There's, they, you know, there's some disconnect from it's a disconnect yeah. yeah and so then when it doesn't happen they all those sabotage beliefs come in and oh there's something wrong with me I've done something wrong blah 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 and they don't understand that it's the structure that they're in yeah yeah and so I was thinking last night one of the reasons that I know my business has been so successful is I've never had that limitation yeah. of there's not enough of business everywhere so I've always shared, I've always, you know, yeah. promoted other people. And from that place, because I've had no concern, you know, with anybody else <clears throat> and promoting them, that energy creates the energy That's in your energy. business, yeah. right? That's exactly right. Yeah. 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 So it's really interesting, like, because we do, you know, we can get caught up in those. And um, those beliefs. Yeah, those past beliefs, you know, those when you're first starting out of, you know, I've got to, I've got to take everything for myself and I can't share because, yep. you know, and, and that's having to break through those personal barriers as well. Yeah. yeah. So that, that's when I, when I look at someone that, um, you know, seeing what they're doing in their business, I can quickly, um, I, I ask, um around their feelings and their emotions so you know understanding where they're feeling you know like if they're still uh feeling unworthy of you know getting themselves seen then they're going to stay in that engaged um unseen level they're not going to be mm. able to move themselves out of it you know so mm -hmm. um there's a definite connection between emotions and feelings when you look at your pillars you know where yeah what your what your client is feeling you know and um these pillars are my guide to understand how they are feeling along the journey in their business so you know a, a lot of the beliefs liz i believe come from corporate come from um factory you know type work environments where it's very competitive you know there's no collaboration it's dog eat dog even yeah. in financial services you know it's very dog eat dog you know like it used to be team um and they try to you know they're, they're giving you mixed messages because they talk about team but then it's all individual targets so, you know, yeah. how can you have team environment when you've got individual targets? There's always going to be a disconnect. Yeah, um, absolutely. That. So yeah. 
that was my struggle when I first came online was understanding that um, collaboration is going to support me more than competition. Competition is never going to support my business. Um, yeah. You know, it will flow. It will be what it what it is, and it is. It's proving that um, you know, uh, competition. You always you are always guarded. You know, there's always that uh, emotional disconnect between between flow and energy. Mm -hmm. so, it's sort of it's counterintuitive, right? It's it, like we're being we're being conditioned to believe. You know, we're we're living in a very masculine world. Masculine still. energy, yeah, and yeah, very much. Um, you know, um, as you said, the competition and and yeah. individual, but but being, you know, this superficial. Let's let's all be one and create My community, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. And um, and yeah, so it's, it's counterintuitive to let go of all of that. Yeah. And and to go into you know acceptance and and collaboration and all that sort of stuff. Yeah. So there's a lot of unraveling to do. Yeah, right? there is. Yeah. Yeah. So um, well done. So you you actually support them in that process. Yeah. See where they are. Yeah. And yeah. if I see that in that in that engaged level, you know, if I see that, then um, as a coach, as a mentor, I know where I have to support that person as well. So it it not only identifies the individual and where they're at, um, but it also supports um, supports them. You know, I'll I'll send them to a you know a, a thirty dollar uh, program that I have. You know, just on limiting beliefs or money minds. Yeah. You know something like that so yeah. that they can they can understand that aspect of it before we take them any further on their on their business journey does that make sense yeah yeah and that's great that you've got that as a as a mini course or something for them yeah, to, yeah. that you can you know here go here first and yeah, then you know like yeah. Yeah. yeah so it's just a self-paced and it just helps them with that understanding of so, you know, like what I learned in um conscious creators you know about yeah, my money, yeah. my money and, and um Lucia do you sell that $30 thing as a one-off for people that might be interested yeah it's, in it's, here? it's a $19 it's a $19 um mini program so it's just yeah. like a little mini program it just sits yeah on the, on the um website so yeah. yeah so that's something you could offer if anyone's listening and the yes anyone's in is interested yeah, awesome. yeah. so yeah, yeah yeah absolutely um so so then we get to the next level, which because I've got five pillars, um, so you know five pillars, and then the next level is established. So at the established level, you're still uh, feeling um, more confident. The thing with your confidence is, are you aligned to what what you want to do? You know, like this with conscious creators. Are you aligned to what you want, what you're passionate about? And you can see that in the work that they do. You know, they'll they'll come and they'll go. So they're established. Yeah, they're doing the, you know, the posting every week, all of that. But are they passionate? Are they going live? Are they sharing their story? Are they, you know, putting, uh, being vulnerable? You know, all of the things emotionally that you need to put out there to connect with people you know in that yeah. established time so yeah. um i can see quickly there as well generally my clients will come to me in our program at that established level they they understand you know that they have to change they have to do some hard work um, and usually it's at this established level that they become clients they they they're they're more um open they're ready for that change. next step yeah, yeah. so at, at unseen and engaged they're kind of still just finding themselves you know they don't mm. <coughs> they they haven't actually seen that they've got even a problem yet you know they haven't yeah. identified it yeah yeah so then we go to the established and you know help them work through a lot of those limiting beliefs help them work through um you know getting getting more connected to what they're aligned to you know what their passion is um some people it's it's interesting Liz you know a bit like me personal stylist and then a business strategist you know like it's, it seems poles apart but when you think about it um personal styling and helping people dress is is in in fact um sales and marketing really in a in a nutshell absolutely sales yeah. and marketing you know so yeah. Um, it's just that I wasn't 
re I hadn't actually dug right down to what I was passionate about. And I'm so passionate about helping these women find, find that niche, find that passion and, and stay with it. You know, I've been doing this now for four years um, and I've had all of these, tra- you know, these transitions. Yeah. 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 Uh, transformations if you like yeah. uh, and I'm not young so you know um but it can be done it can be mm. done and have the lifestyle as well so helping those women understand that they don't have to hustle there is a strategy that I teach that will give you both it will give you lifestyle it will give you um, your business as long as you're prepared to when you're in your business work your business um, yeah that's that's key as well you know you've got to you've got to find your clients you've got to do the work for your you've clients. Got to, yeah you've got to create a foundation right so then yeah. it flows you know like and, and as you said it's a yeah. structure it's mm. it's getting into um a pattern and a habit yes. habit and and a flow you know like yeah it's getting yeah. getting to understand um and then you know is is also being able to look you know what what is um what is my true desire yeah 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 my and, true desire yeah yeah like I said that's established that is where we start looking at you know your 90-day plan because we've got a four-month program what is your 90-day plan what do you want to get at the end of this what what is your you know you're not going to have 10 clients right it's not going to happen but mm you are going to have some structure that you can continue to follow along along your business journey. You know, if you continue to do this, you're going to get the desired outcome that you 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 want, um, mm-hmm. which has happened to me. You know, I've been doing this now for 80, um, 18 months or maybe 12 months. And yeah. I've got now to where I want to be, you know, all I have and working on is scaling it so now yeah. I'm just working on the scaling um so that is established so i can really really identify very quickly um the established level right so and I, I remind me to talk about something um when it comes to content too please because i just want to touch on yeah. that for your ladies um, sure sure so, so then from established, we come to empowered. Now, at empowered, we don't always stay at empowered, right? Empowered is, is um, you know, that, that feeling that we get when we're, we're you know, on a, on a high, you know, we're working to our, to our true passion performance. But we can slip back, you know, we can always slip back, back to that established, you know, we can get mm. lazy, we can have, you know, um, I've had so much family family stuff we've had COVID we've had all sorts of things happening in our family so I've kind of slipped back luckily I've got two VAs so they're they're keeping the business part of it ticking along going away Um, yeah yeah so you know still staying or at that empowered level you know I don't feel like I've um, lost any business because of it yeah I'll put plans in place and that's what empowered is right it is that you've got plans in place you know that these things happen you understand that you'll have to have a plan b in case so you've put that structure in place and also at at that level as you were talking I was thinking about all the you know this is where if you don't have those plans and that structure in place right you can get into massive overwhelm, overwhelm. if if things like COVID happens or yeah. you know brain tumors yeah. or yeah. Like, all, yeah. Yeah, exactly. all sorts of weird and wonderful yeah. things yeah. that happen yeah. to us in our life. Yeah. So if you haven't got that that um all set up in those structures, yeah. Because people think, oh my gosh, I've got to stay in my business and I've got to just go, you know, in ten and let everything in their personal life fall yeah. apart. Yeah. And be overwhelmed and stressed but it's not the case right no it's, no when you're, when you're in that empowered place if you've got all those structures in place yeah. then you you have the opportunity to step out yeah, and things right. are still flowing for yeah. you so yeah yeah exactly. yeah and that is true empowerment right mm-hmm. that is true mm-hmm. empowerment. absolutely yeah. yeah because you you actually have got Oh, it's all right. Um, you have got that. Um, it's almost like a level of control. You know, you know what's going on. You you yeah. have had the foresight to um, to plan and make 
make um, you know the, the the plan so that it it protects and um, keeps keeps everything ticking along smoothly. Mm -hmm. So at that empowered level, like I said, you can you can easily um, get into overwhelm very easily. But you can also, um, you know, have things happen and because you have got a strategy, a plan, a process in place, you can stay at feeling like everything's going along as yeah. it should. Yeah. yeah. And then you get to the next level, which is unstoppable. So the unstoppable level is, is I, I'm probably not there yet, Liz. I don't feel that I'm there yet. Um my my leads aren't coming in as as quickly as I want you know so there's still things that are not flowing where I want them to it flow but I do feel empowered I feel absolutely empowered so you know I'm I'm on that level to um you know the unstoppable yeah I, th I think with unstoppable it's it's the successes that you achieve when you are empowered I'm yeah. really feel that the the emotional connection that you have to that unstoppable is when things are just in flow you know yeah. you, you unstoppable to me means that you know I'm comfortable with everything I'm creating I am a conscious creator uh, I am empowered and I've you know I can come back to plan b and i will be fine but unstoppable for some is you know that that next level of success that they desire you know it could be that they've got a million dollar program or, or whatever that they're they're working they're, with. they're wanting to achieve yeah, yeah. and yeah. the thing is it's interesting um because you know as you said that i i thought you know that's a true leader that says here's my pillars I'm not at the last one yet, you know. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> and yeah, so, yeah, yeah. You know, and um, you know, it made me think of I, I've been quoting this a lot lately. That Neil Donald Walsh um, says uh, he's the uh, guy that um, his books "Conversation with God" and oh, yes. um, yep, yeah, yeah. He said I remember somewhere seeing he said um, a leader is not someone that says follow me. A leader is someone that says I'll go first. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. Uh, and it's always really stuck with me. I've been quoting that a lot lately. So yeah, yeah, it's um, isn't it? yeah and that's that's you know your statement just then made me think of it because yeah, you know we're yeah, yeah. we're just being the example of you know for those that, that are still coming up behind yeah, us and, and we're just and saying yeah you know, they desire. We're, we're walking the ladder too. So yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. they desire the same, you know. Yeah, so, yeah, and understanding their path. Um, makes it so much easier to help them where they need that help. Um, that's what I've found. I've identified very quickly. And that that actually reinforces that or, or validates that I am on my true path. You know, I mm -hmm. am walking mm -hmm. my true path because yeah. everything is validated as I go along. Yeah. Um, what I wanted to say with my pillar yeah, about the content yeah, yeah is that i also follow like my pillars are my structure for my content as well so you know the emotional feelings and you know where where a person is at you know say we um talking about established right that established person they're posting 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 they're not getting anywhere they're not energetically they're doubting themselves you know they they think that there must be something you know disconnected yada yada um the, i talk to that emotional feeling when i'm doing a post when i'm creating the content because i understand exactly where um i need to target my audience so I need to yeah. target them at that level, at that establishment. Yeah. The, yeah. the value posts, et cetera, are to the, um, the unstoppables and the engaged. So I yeah. understand really, really um, with my business pillars, I have got a clear journey for my clients, but I've also got a clear journey of content that I'm creating for the prospective clients, the people that I'm nurturing, because these people that are, you know, are at unstoppable and engaged, they will become my clients. Yeah, yeah. They'll, they'll follow the path. They'll, they'll get the nurturing. They'll get the, um, the uh, you know, the coaching that they desire. And then they will get to that, to that level where they're ready to yeah. 
to you see. You mean unseen, insane. sorry. You mean unseen. You were saying unseen. Oh, sorry, unseen. unseen. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Unseen. unseen. I was, yeah, yeah. unseen yeah. And, and engaged. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So that that is my pillars in a nutshell is, is basically a way of me identifying the journey that clients take, but it's the journey that I took. Yeah, I was just going to say, yeah. And, and again, a really strong structure yeah. that you can then you know like work with as you yeah. as you go along you know yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. um it, it's making me think because i have got pillars of my own and i haven't um uh, you know re re um focused on them or looked at them yeah. and i'm like oh i have got that somewhere yeah, yeah. Have to and have it, a is, look. it is um when i'm doing a coaching session i always ask my clients where are your pillars can you tell me your pillars because i can tell you my pillars you know, like I've yeah, done straight away, and yeah, yeah. Here. Um, and and they say, Oh, wait on, and they go scratching, and they're yeah, like, yeah, oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. And like, uh -huh. yeah. What I know, I'm just, I'm just thinking, <laughs> um, I mean, there's somewhere around here. <laughs> I have to ask, I have to ask Irene, my VA, yeah, one of yeah. my yeah. So yeah. It, it's super interesting, you know, if you, you know, like, um, to be in flow, you do need some structure you do need yeah. and and one of the things about that Lucia is also you know when when you've gone all the way up to the to the top of your pillars if you don't look back yeah at, at where you came from you can't um engage and resonate to those people that that's are exactly yeah. yeah that's exactly right yeah so yeah. it's it's yeah. being able to you know oh because when you were talking about corporate just before, um, I just was speaking to a client or someone just a couple of days ago, and they were talking about um, having to leave corporate just recently because of gaslighting and oh, the, okay. the intensity of, okay. and, and I was a bit shocked because I'm like, oh is that sort of stuff still happening because it's so not in my realm right like no, when, when no. you're living yeah the life that you love and, yeah. and you've created a beautiful reality and you know I mean I went I got up we were just talking I got up at 5 30 this morning yeah. and went to the beach yeah. <laughs> that's no, surprising. No. like you know yeah. when you you just totally forget that there's people out there that are living a whole different yeah. world full of yeah yeah, yeah. chaos and stress and yeah, you know yeah. overwhelmed so yeah, yeah you've got to you've got to um be able to go you know look back down and right. or not not down as in hierarchy but you know the ladder and, and the progression path. you know yeah, yeah the path, the path pillars. and yeah. understand where what are you doing look at their path and understand where they're coming from you know with their emotions and with their feelings because um their feelings and emotions are key to understanding where they're at in their journey yeah you know I've, I've put engaged you know but then i've got feelings underneath she's trying to get my blanket <laughs> <laughs> so underneath that engaged you know i've got that feeling of um lack you know that feeling uh of so lacking self-confidence you know all of the emotional and feelings that you have at that level you know the self-doubt you know, no, mm -hmm. no clear understanding of um, where to from here, you know, all of that. I've identified those sorts of emotions in those people because that was me. That was me where, when I started my journey. Um, yeah, yeah. Through that. So. And, and so, Lucia, um, how do people get in contact with you? Um, you'll be able to put yep. this, your so links I have in. A, I have a group called Global Business Leaders, and that's changed because it was, um, I think it used to be uh, something about women, but it's Global Business Leaders now. And we encourage every global CEO to um, stand in their personal power and stop diluting their power. So helping them understand that, you know, the wisdom that they have within is what other people need to, um, you know, 
get they need to share it they need to share yeah. wisdom um, yeah. women particularly are the teachers the nurturers and women particularly need to take that step forward and be those uh, wisdom warriors you know and share that wisdom oh, i love that yeah. so true yeah. and i also just remembered something that we should be promoting is your expo Yes, yes. Your online, yes. 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 You want yes. to give us a little bit of There's so much happening. Me too. I just uh, thought about it. I'm like, oh, we need to be sharing that. Um, I'll get I'll get my gorgeous Reg to um, pop it in the chat, but I've got an expo that is on the 29th, 30th and the 1st of October, and we're looking for stall holders, and um, it is online. A, online yeah. it's yeah. a virtual expo so anyone can do it now it's product or service so you don't have to just be product you can be a service and basically it's the opportunity for any small business owner to promote themselves so we encourage you to do daily lives we encourage you to um, do static posts now if you're a sponsor like you are Liz you're entitled to um, static posts during the day so you can post uh, 9 12 and 4 in the day as well um, and so we've got sponsorship we've got stall holders um, and yeah, it's $40 to be a stall holder for three days of promoting your business online. So um, there is albums where you can put shitloads of your stuff, you know, yeah. anything that you want to promote, anything coming up in your, in your business, um, anything that you teach in your business, your programs, et cetera, can all go into those albums and they can, they can sit there. You can redirect people to the album offer them a one-on-one -on -one conversation, you know, to, um, to, to talk to them and, um, you know, introduce them to your business. So it's, it's a small business expo, virtual expo. Yeah. Awesome. And so people that aren't in business can go in there and, and shop and, around, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So if anyone's a little bit like business, eBay in a way, it's a bit like that. Yeah. yeah. Well um, done. That's so, awesome. It's, 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 you know, the face-to-face -face expos that you go to, you know, just in, uh, in Sydney and Brisbane. Um, it's like that, but it's virtual. So you pay for a table, you basically uh, are a store holder, then you can pay for a sponsorship, um, which actually gets your, your name mentioned each day um, as a sponsor as well. So there's all benefits to getting your business seen and out there, but it's, it is definitely all about promoting your business. So I want you to promote your business. I want yeah. you to share with people um, your business. So awesome. So if anyone's got a small business and would like to get in contact, there'll be a link below. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. the same in YouTube. So um, we'll make sure that we've got all those links in YouTube as well. Yeah, beautiful. Thank yeah. you Thank so you. much, Lucia. It's been so lovely having you and talking. We've gone over time, Liz. Okay. we've gone over time yeah um, yeah yeah all good all good i don't you. know if you've got anything on i've got some my call in 15 minutes so yeah yeah I did. okay thank you liz for having Take me care yeah. and lovely for uh, put um hashtag replay if you're watching and love for you to put any um information down if you've got any value from this thank take you. care everyone we'll catch you soon thank you liz thanks love See ya. bye